The history of pottery dates back to 9000 BC, as old as humankind. Why the art of pottery is deemed as an important antiquity and aesthetic art culture today. We visited Chungankade Pottery Unit at the base of scintillating Western Ghats near Kanyakumari, Tamil Nadu. Pottery making has thrived here for many centuries. In 1952, the Belgian missionary worker Father James Tombe came here and revived, innovated and mechanized the disappearing cottage pottery business into a small-scale industry. He founded the Potters Cooperative Society for the welfare of the Potters and handed it over to the Tamil Nadu Khadi and Village Industries Board in 1982. As of today, around 180 people from 30 families work here. All of them belong to Kullalar caste, which is known to the practice of the art of pottery as the traditional vocation. Interestingly, most of the workers are women who are known for their expertise in the crafts of shaping and finishing earthenware. However, one cannot find a migrant worker in this unit because the Kulalas do not entertain people from outside their caste. The average potter's day begins at 7 in the morning and comes to a close at 6 in the evening. Depending on the individual performance, workers could earn rupees 350 to 400 per day. Today, this poultry unit empowers the downtrodden women to lead a financially secured and dignified life. Once in every five years, the Porter's Cooperative Society democratically elects a person within the 30 families to head their business. Let us now see how the clay transforms into beautiful earthenware. Pottery making is a six-stage process. The various stages include sourcing, crushing, mixing, kneading, wheeling and firing. The coarse river sands of fine quality along with fine pond clay is collected from the nearby villages. The clay and sand are filtered using a sieve to separate stones, mud lumps and other impurities. Then the sand and clay are mixed in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Water is slowly added to perfect a mixture like dough. This increases its elasticity to withstand the throwing process. The prepared clay is placed on the potter's wheel. The artisan shapes the clay ball while the wheel rotates. Once the port is evenly shaped, the next stage is colouring. The dampened article is coloured using refined red soil paste made from special red soil from Tenkashi. The finished article is allowed to dry in the sun for three to four days. Once the article has been dried, it must undergo a baking process inside a furnace for five to six hours. There are three furnaces in the Chungankade unit. The capacity of each furnace is 1,500 pots at a time. The entire process to deliver a product may take 21 days with proper sunlight. Apart from local sales, the main market for pots is in Kerala, Chennai and Pondicherry. What is the current state of affairs? Unfortunately, for a long time, there has been no substantial support from the state or the central governments. 
The age-old pottery occupation survives by caste-based compulsions and other external factors. Adding to ooze, the COVID-19 pandemic has decimated the pottery artisans' livelihood. They expect the government to provide financial assistance during such an unprecedented crisis. How to preserve and safeguard the art for tomorrow? The future of earthen products is already in danger due to a decrease in the younger generation's least interest in the occupation. Several young potters are moving to other lucrative fields. Such artistic traditions must be preserved. Each artisan is incredibly unique. They possess individual skills and wisdom that have been passed down from generation to generation. At present, crafting earthenware is a dying art. Let us make a commitment to support our indigenous small-scale industries and vulnerable workers.